Well, two El Paso moms are sharing their stories with me about the struggles that they've had in finding ABA therapy for their kids who've been diagnosed with autism. Now, last week I shared this story about what ABA therapy involves and mentioned the problem is finding providers here in the borderland. That's right. ABA therapy is something I'm actually very familiar right. with. Um, and I think just being a mother or being a parent in general and having yes. a child with autism, of course, you're going to do whatever it takes to get them the Absolutely. extra support that they need. And you were actually able to talk with some families that actually had to move away from this area because they couldn't find it for their kids. Yeah, definitely making some difficult decisions. It's an uphill battle for sure. Take a listen to what some of these families are faced with. And the, the saddest part about it, it, autism doesn't have a look. And because my child looked normal, um, they really didn't pay attention to me. Jasmine Sida knew early on her now six-year-old son, Aaron, had autism, but getting a doctor to diagnose him was difficult. And they just told me, like, it's more of behavior. It's not autism. The diagnosis is the first hurdle families have to cross to get their kids in to see specialists and also to receive applied behavior analysis therapy known as ABA. It's one of the most sought after methods by families. It helps people on the spectrum learn and develop skills to help manage their behaviors. Um, one of the therapies they mentioned when they diagnosed autism, um, they told me it would help with those the meltdowns that Aaron has, um, being able to control his emotions. In El Paso, the list of providers who offer ABA is very short. On Facebook, I asked parents how long they've been waiting to get their kids in to see a therapist. One person said they could be waiting a year. Another mom said after paperwork, referrals, and a prescription for ABA, she didn't find anyone who was taking new patients. Aaron, in addition to his autism diagnosis, also has tuberous sclerosis, a condition that causes tumors to develop in his body, ADHD, and epilepsy, needing not just ABA therapy, but other specialists. That includes a pediatric neurologist, of which there is also a shortage in El Paso. Left with no other choice, the family moved to Colorado. It was a very hard decision because not only did we have to get up on my kids and move, but we had to move somewhere where we have no family. Molly Sines has two children with autism, Ivory and Joelle. She moved back home to El Paso from California and learned quickly that the extent of what insurance can cover is different in Texas. Unfortunately, in order to receive ABA, the child has to have a diagnosis that's within three years. So like my child, since he was diagnosed when he was 18 months, I have to have a re-diagnosis. Science is not just advocating for her children, but others in the community. Working with her school district to help with special ed programs, she's also part of the Autism Society of El Paso. But you can see the struggle where parents are calling all the time asking, where can I take my child to get, get an evaluation at? Um, which clinics offer ABA? Do you know if they'll take my insurance? She understands while time ticks, kids grow older, missing that crucial time when ABA would be the most beneficial. We want our kids to be able to grow up and be independent and not have to worry about, oh, is mom going to be around? Is dad going to be around to help out? Despite the challenges, these parents, like others, stand strong, continuing to find ways to help those that depends on them. It's important for us to be our children's voice and be able to advocate to them. We are our children's voice. Like, I am my son's voice. If I can't get him, I mean, he can't speak for himself. Yes, Selena, so both of these families are on ABA wait lists still. Something one of the moms actually brought up as well is that there has to be more collaboration with school districts to allow ABA therapists in school. And she's encouraging people to advocate to legislators for some better insurance coverage. Absolutely. There are so many elements when it comes to even getting into ABA therapy. Right. You know, you need a diagnosis and then it's just all the other pieces to the puzzle. So. And you just talked about insurance, which is one of those big elements. That's also something that you're going to kind of dig deeper into yeah, next week. Yes, absolutely. So there's actually a bill that's making its way through the legislature that would allow for more expansion of benefits, um, the benefits that it would provide for people with autism. So the next story in this series is talking to the legislator who actually drafted that bill and also talking to a doctor about just how hard even just getting to get that diagnosis is. So that will be the next story that airs. And also you can get a rewatch of my first story just to explaining what ABA is, and that is on kfoxtv.com.